Hey guys, welcome back to another. That's Lord Jericho, douchebag of the universe. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Never turn your back on him, because either way he'll shoot you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hello, I'm Wolf. I'm also here with uh, Sturman. Say hey, Sturman. Hello. But now, thank you, Jericho, for putting me up here so I can give the guys a nice view of what we're working on down there. As you can see, we got the platform. We got a foundation laid out for our new stronghold, our compound. Now, that's not going to be the size of the building. That's just where the the floor is, where the walls are going to be going around it. And then where you see Jericho down there, the douchebag with a gun in my uh, backpack. That's actually where we're going to have the hovercraft area. So there's going to be... Uh, hovercraft hangers over here to house a ton of hangers. Uh, hangers. Yeah, we're gonna house a ton of hangers. Sounds good to me. But it's gonna house the hover tanks. Well, let me do it until I do that first. In the end, once I get my stuff, I'll show you the rest. Alright, so we've got the hover tank section in this corner. It's gonna be anywhere from 8 to 12 spots to house our stalker class hover tanks so that, that way almost any tank that somebody can come up with will fit in the hangars i even have an idea for a goliath size hover tank i'm going to see if i can make it work it'll be the equivalent of four of the stalker class tanks That'd but over here it's going to be the the small fighters and drop ship hangers uh, drop ships there'll be enough for six drop ships in a hangar in a building and then on top of the building will be spots for 12 uh fighter size small vessels on the top there and then this corner over here this whole area over here will be the main building we'll have the garden section which will be more like a um what do we call it what is it called what's it called what's it called the recreation area but it'll it's also where we'll grow all our stuff and that's where the rest all of our personal little Rooms will be so we store all our own private stuff that we want to keep to ourselves. Like Jericho's epic rocket launcher, I think it is, or his uh, epic minigun. I got both. Uh huh. Just don't have a phone. But we'll have our main storage, our main construction facilities, our processing facility, everything that we built right here. It'll probably be a good four stories high. But I'm not doing anything in the ground this time because when I blueprint this one, I want to be able to use it anywhere I want to. So let's say we wanted to move to a different planet and put a stronghold on that on another planet. I'll be able to spawn this on the ground, and I don't have to dig it out. And if I do, it's only because of a sloped section like over there where the ground slopes through. I don't need to dig a little bit out instead of dig a whole hole like I did the colony. And then over here will be a few external landing pads for ships to come and go. The main entryway will be right over here. Um, maybe the armory will be over here or something, or the barracks or something. We'll see. Well, that's the gist of that. That's where we're going with this. We're right here inside this crevice in this... Uh, I'm thinking of building to where the hover train will come out, come around, come over to this lake over here. And right here will be the starport. But just on the other side of the hill from us this way... Let me find it. There it is. It's the drone base, which is that way, right over there. You go take off, you go that direction, you get shot out of the sky. It's awesome. Well, the forces... Right. Yeah. Exceeding forces. Oh, we also made an alliance with the Talons. So we're actually at peace with these guys. They're really friendly. They stay around and protect our uh, foundations for right now. For now. What's up, dude? This one, th this is Bob, that, and that was Frank. Say hi, Frank. <laughs> he actually waved. That was funny. But because I got that one wall block all the way around, they're stuck in here, so now they're ours. <laughs> Shooting the four but cows. <laughs> but as you can see, remember I was talking about uh, a hover vessel attached to the capital vessel, so that's what it is right there. I'm gonna close the door so we can come over there and take it. Show you guys. We've got the hover vessel turrets on there for the mining turrets. It's got the two side seats. You never even have to get in here, but if you have to adjust it for some reason, undock it, you could get there and do it. But all we gotta do is get over, deposit, hop in, turn the power on, jump in the drill turret, and Get to work. That's if it works. We're going to test it, yeah. But we're going to test it to see if it'll even let us do it in an asteroid, which would be awesome if it did. You just We'll just pull the hangar right over the asteroid and just mine away. But that's what we're going to try and do right now, so let's go take off and do that. I'm going the wrong way. Let's just 
take a seat here. And then in, after we test the asteroid, we're gonna go whether it works or not. We're gonna we need sathium, so we're gonna mine the asteroid. We'll do a nice little break with you guys, and then bring you back when we're done mining the asteroid out. And then we're gonna test it on one of the uh, deposits on the planet and see how well it works from inside the ship uh, mining out a planet. Because I know the distance on them isn't that far. No, not at all. Here, as far as as far as we'd like them to be, anyways. All right, here we go. Up, up, and away. But, right. Where is it? I don't see the drone base. There it is. There it is. Right there. It looks like the midsection, the back end of the, uh, um, that ship, what's it called? I can't remember. The Titan is right there. Jericho wants to rebuild the Titan. Yes. But there's the two front and back ends right there. User joined your channel. Oh yeah. What's that? Yeah. So if Jericho wants to, he can actually start just by putting some thrusters and stuff on those and bring them together. Just start melding them together. A shell. If you've got, you've got the parts. I'll do the one on the moon as well. Alright. Let's double check, make sure all of our turrets are activated and ready to take on these drones. Wait. I don't see any frigates here. Yeah, neither have I. But this is our first time going out in the asteroid fields with the sheep. I mined one asteroid for Sathium. We don't have by hands you haven't used yet. This little wacky old. What's it called? Brill idea. Uh, yeah. It was uh. What's he called? He called this one before. A hangar miner. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I named it, so it's there. I just had to. You just gotta go look for it. Look at it. Not look for it. Let's get above. A little bit here. Server taming speed is three times, right? Uh, right. Wow. Seems awfully <clears throat> fast in single player. It could be a, that the dinos are so low level. Hey, wake up. You wake up. I think I see one over that way. There's a yeah, there's some drones. Oh no, what are we going to do? The drones. Oh, there goes some rockets. Blast effects out of the sky. Boom! You know what? We should collect whatever resources they got on them. I'll do. Yeah, I see some sathium right in front of us, too. I'm gonna back us up. Turn it and go. Yeah. I'm gonna try and put you the hangar right next to him. The back hangar or the bottom? The bottom one. I should probably have one, shouldn't I? Yeah, be smart. There you go, they're right below you. That was awesome. Has Use proven her worthiness. Oh, there's one. Everything we get out of them now is one less thing we have to grind out later. There's one, where's your one? There it is. Right below you. Oh, no mistake, I swear I saw a path uh, asteroid just up that way. Who were the drones protecting here? Oh, well, probably nothing. Because I did add extra drones in on every sector and every system, so. Those five they rounds. Have... They probably weren't protecting anything. They're probably just. Mm, Rolling. Chilling. Because they're villains. Hi, buddy. Alright, moving out. Yep, there's a Sathium asteroid right there. Yeah, see that in focus. 
Dragons. I don't think they spotted us though. I think it's um, take, take care of them. Oh, I'm full, full talking today. Uh, I'm beat to death, so I don't feel bad. I've got a massive headache though. It's killing All me. Right. How's that? Let's go down. Right, I oh. think that's as far down as I can go. I mean, I could tip the ship, so it's actually closer. I don't think was... we're near. All right, take a seat in the hover vessel's uh, passenger seat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tip the ship a little bit, pull it closer. Hold on. <laughs> you can see a little guy in the hangar over there. It's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't fly if you're in a docked vessel. No? Okay, I'll go. Nah, just go ahead and get out. It's not going to hurt nothing. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to pivot the ship right on the resource here. Yeah, move to the right, Wolf. Uh, move to the right. Move to the right? Mm-hmm. Bit more. Go a bit more. That's perfect. See if you can mine some. See if that thing will even work in space. Turn it on. on this. Turn it on. P. Tool torch. Access. You can actually shoot this weapon on a planet. <laughs> We're not on a planet. Alright, let's go back to the planet and start mining. That stinks. So we managed that story since we're here. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess we should. Alright guys, we'll go ahead and mine this thing out and then we'll bring it back and we're gonna fly over to uh Manda did a lot of mining for us yesterday and uh, today, getting us a lot of crystals and everything. So we got plenty of warp fuel now, so we're going to be able to start going to other planets and get the uh, resources we need. We actually had a deal with the trader on the server now. He's actually running iron for us. He's selling it to us, and we're buying it from him, and he's buying all <laughs> the other resources he needs from us, and we need to make sure we have stuff, too, be able to do that. I'm, like, turning myself around in the ship. So let us mine out the Sathium so we have something to sell back to him. And oh, I, I'm walking on the asteroid. <laughs> oh, you can as well. I think it's the gravity from the ship. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, see you later, guys. All right, guys. As you can see here. We've got ourselves the Sathium asteroid right there. Nice, nice. Doing good, doing good. Loads. So we proved that you can't use a hover vessel's turrets in space, but now we're going to test it out on a planet. What would be cool about this is when they give us the conveyor system, the way this would work is you'd be drilling off the ship and it would go through the conveyor and fill up the container somewhere else or something. We'll see. Ow. Hopefully they give it to us soon. But let's get up into the cockpit here, take off, fly down to the planet and test out how the mining works from there. I'm seasoned. Right. Let's go. I'm getting there. I'm just in the observation Chuck, Chuck. deck now. God, Man, so slow. Now. So I'm gonna slow. Eject I'm going to eject you. You can't, can you? Um, there's there's got to be a way. I don't think there is right <laughs> now. It might be, though. That would actually be funny, though. Alright, Orient. The roof opens up. Like James Bond. You get shut out. Alright, we'll go find us a gold node on Okua here. Could do with magnesium. Really. Oh, we got some drones on the right. Oh, I'm getting annihilated. 
Oh, Jesus oh, Christ, he's doing this again. That's funny, huh? Oh, that's, that was hilarious. Yeah, let's go mine the magnesium. That's, that's a good idea. We definitely need to get some more ammunition going here. Yep. Wait, can you cause the drone then? I'd like to find out is if the uh, drones respawn. One space, you should do. Hope so. I know the freighters do. You know we haven't seen one yet. We are in Atmo. That's an episode there. Hunting down freighters. Oh, we just went through the plan on my screen. What the hell? Leveling off the ship real quick so we don't use up all the energy. Use more thrusters forward, but let's check the map. Let's see, where's the closest magnesium? Actually, there's one right there. What am I next to our base? Oh, that's for the, that's when we use a... Yeah, we don't want to use that one, but I think there's somewhere. one right over here, near the hydrogen bunker. Somewhere below us down here, I think I saw one. Yep. Who's the villagers, boss? What's that? Those are the villagers below us. Yeah, those are the uh, neutral points of interest that people can take over. Alright, so it's somewhere... There it is, right below us in the trees. Now let's see if it knocks over the trees. Hey, it did. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna turn it this way. We're gonna move this way. Drop that hanger right on the magnesium deposit. All right, fix yourself. We you wreck yourself, will you? Where's the hangar at? Okay, so that is the hangar right there. Back the other way. Because those you can, and I'll jump out and try and. I want to make sure I'm right above it. All right, we should be right on it. Let's find out, shall we? Yes, please. Oh, what the hell am I? Aha, I'm under the world. I got, I got, <laughs> I got shot up into the, um, the bridge. <laughs> so just give me a sec to get back to half. Touchy ship. She's got evil spirits in her, man. <laughs> oh, come on, boy. Come on, engine room. What the hell? Follow the signs. Upper decks, lower decks, and then out in the main Yeah, hangar. lower decks. Yeah. I made it so simple, my four-year-old daughter can do it. Yes, but I don't read signs. I don't know if we're over or not. Can't see nothing. Uh, yeah, it's right below you. Yeah, um, go forward. Forwards a bit. Forward? I'm uh -huh. looking at it. It's right below you. Okay, hold on. I'm doing so it's like right below the drone. I got you. A little more? That'll be it. That'll be nice. Right. Uh. I just saw you jump out of the seat. Really? Smart. <laughs> What's so fucking funny? <laughs> I'm watching you run around up there. <laughs> I'm now to get fall on the fucking hill. Leave me forwards. <laughs> I can't jump up, so let's try and see if we can get through the back. Be the front? Whatever, I don't give a shit what's going on. Oh, it's <laughs> and all we're trying to do, ladies and gentlemen, is get into the sea to test to see if we can shoot at the positive from inside the hangar bay. I think it might be a bit too high up. Let's find out though, shall we? 
But when they actually let us have the mining turrets for the capital vessels, we could actually still make this work. Yeah. That would be epic. That would be awesome. Till then, let's see if this works. That's uh -oh, working. It's cutting. It's cutting. Now let's see if they can reach down far enough to get the magnesium. Nope. Nope. Figures. Thank you, mama. Well, there goes that idea. It's alright. We can make one that'll work that can come out of the hangar bay, get to the ground, mine it out, and then go right back up in it. We'll figure it out. Alright, well, we're gonna finish mining this one by hand. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how long has this episode been going on for? I think it's been too long. So we're gonna call I, this I one for you, come really. We're all exhausted, tired, brain dead, and stupid, so I think that's it for us. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Remember to play how to game harder. Until next time, take it easy. See you later, guys. Hee <laughs> hee.